Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to explore a very important property of a quantum mechanic oscillator. It's called the selection rule. And you may ask, what is the selection rule? Well, we realize that the quantum mechanic oscillator can either gain or lose energy by the emission or by the absorption of photons. And we also realize that the bottom level, E sub naught, the lowest energy level that an oscillator can be at is not equal to zero, but it's one half h bar omega, omega, omega being the angle of frequency of the oscillation. We also realize that the difference in the energy level from one state to the next state, from one quantum mechanic state to the next quantum mechanic state, is equal to exactly one time h bar omega. So, what does the rule say? Well, the rule says that it places a condition on the amount by which n can change when absorbing or emitting energy. And of course, in this case, energy typically would be photons. So what is that limit? And that's the key. The key to the selection rule is that there's a specific limit. And the specific limit is such that since the absorption or emission of energy is by the absorption or emission of a single photon, that then states that the quantum number of the final state the state that you're going to end up in, must be one less or one greater than the initial state. In other words, the delta n can only be one, one more or one less than when you started with. In other words, the amount of energy a harmonic oscillator can absorb is equal to a photon with the energy equivalent of the difference between one of the two states or between any two states that are adjacent to one another. In other words, the energy cannot jump all of a sudden two or three or four states. The change, as you can see by this arrow, simply indicates it can only be one state at a time. In other words, the harmonic oscillator can only absorb a photon with energy equal to the difference between any one, two states. And for, for example, from E1 to E2 or from E2 to A3, and it cannot do two states at the same time. Because of that, the energy of the photon that's either emitted or absorbed is equal to the delta energy of the oscillator between any two states, not, they have to be adjacent, and that's equal to h bar omega, since h bar is h over 2 pi, and omega is equal to 2 pi f, when the two pi's cancel, the difference in energy, which therefore is equal to the energy of the photon, is equal to h times the frequency, which of course is the basic unit of energy for a photon, as Einstein discovered by the photoelectric effect. And so that's why oscillators can only increase by one level at a time or decrease by one level at a time. And therefore, the energy absorbed or energy emitted is equal to that photon with the energy difference between two adjacent levels. And that's what we know by the selection rule. 